What's going on? Thanks for checking in. If you're a ball player and your gym doesn't have these five pieces of equipment, you need to find a new gym. Make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. Starting at number five is, of course, resistance bands. You probably see us use them in the majority of our workouts, right? I like resistance bands for, you know, mobility. I like resistance bands for power. I like resistance bands for accommodating resistance on your strength list. Most versatile thing you could possibly use as a baseball player, and they're cheap, but make sure you get good ones, all right? These are Elite FTS bands. They're not a sponsor, but I live and die by their products, all right? They're durable, they last forever, and we use these literally every single day. I've had other bands in the past, they don't last as long. They'll last two months and they'll snap on a kid. Okay, go ahead, get yourself some good quality bands if you're trying to increase your baseball softball performance. Coming at number four is the trap bar. Okay, may not be expecting this, but I think it's essential for baseball and softball players to not only build relative force out of the ground, but it's a great way to build absolute strength. The hex bar or the trap bar is always a staple in my programs. Coming in at number three is the reverse hyper. All right, Louis Simmons is a genius for inventing this thing. It's essential for baseball and softball players. I don't care what anybody says. A lot of people say high risk, low reward. That's just because they use a lot of weight and don't use the machine properly. Okay, here's the story. Uh, we had this girl that came in here because she got injured at her old training facility, plays in Georgia, okay? Hurt her lower back, I believe she had a pars fracture and a herniated disc, okay? She came here, we got her on the reverse hyper, she's never had a back issue since we started using this thing, okay? Great for developing posterior chain. Never met a baseball player or a good softball player with a weak posterior chain. It pumps fluid into the lower vertebrae, so it acts as tractioning, it heals, and it builds strength. Gotta get yourself on a reverse hyper. Coming in at number two, essential is a belt squat, okay? They make some really good ones out there. My favorite here are the Rogue ones, okay? Because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning the weight that's on the stack is the weight that you're actually moving, you know, on the legs. There's a Pit Shark out there, which is really good and really convenient, but it's not such of a good ratio. Elite FTS makes a really good one as well. Um, it's hard to find in, you know, your big box gyms like your LA Fitnesses or your Gold Gyms, but, you know, if you find some of these, uh, like little powerlifting gyms or sports performance facilities, you're gonna find yourself a belt squat. I think belt squats are essential for baseball players, especially because of all the lower back injuries that happen in this sport. The belt squat is a good way to load the legs and to build strength adaptation without decompressing the spine or axial loading. When you put a barbell on your back, the limiting factor never really is your legs. Okay, it's your lower back or your trunk. So here we can gain absolute strength, build that into relative force potential by loading our hips, not putting our lower back at risk. I do it with a lot of the major league guys that come in here because back squatting, anytime you uh, load a heavy barbell on your back can be real high risk, low reward in that population. Here's a good way to get that stimulus. Coming in number one, you may have guessed it, is the med balls. All right, a lot of guys think about, they ask what size med ball works best. That all depends on, you know, the exercise that you're doing, right? We do a lot of rotational power stuff in here. So I like using the lighter balls so we can throw them a lot harder, right? So your four to six, your eight pounders. All depends on what adaptation you're looking for, right? If you're looking to heavy med ball slams, go grab, you know, your 20s and above. But when we're trying to blend what we do in the weight room to the field, we need that skill component. Okay, so I like to use the lighter ones so we can throw them a lot harder. People throw around the term sports specific training. That term gets watered down just because a lot of people, you know, overuse it or get carried away with it. However, in baseball, you have to train a little sports specific just because our sport is so skill dominant. So when we grab these med balls, I always try to train sports specific, keep the lower half the same, keep our rotation principles the same, whether you're a hitter, whether you're a thrower, right? Baseball, softball players, you have to add medicine ball throws into your training. All right, so there's the five most essential pieces of equipment I think that all ball players should be using. Look, you know, if your gym doesn't have it, I was just kidding, don't go ahead and get a new gym. I'm just saying to optimize what we are doing, these five pieces of equipment are really gonna help, all right? Hey, again, if you wanna use some of the same training methodologies that I use with my athletes in-house, 
I have a number of programs available, different age groups, different uh, times of the year. You can go ahead and find those in the description below. Also, always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week. Appreciate you. Catch you next week.